Hi, Matt with the E-Trailer, and today we're going to be talking about the Yakima Bedrock HD truck bed rack on the back of the 2023 Jeep Gladiator. This has a couple great features. It's going to be great to have all this space beneath that you still utilize and still put stuff up top, up top. So you're going to be able to maximize the amount of equipment you have in the back. And it's going to be great too because this can adjust to a lot of other accessories. These are going to be aluminum crossbars with the uh, ability to hold up to 300 pounds on road and 180 pounds off road. Now, if this is going to be static and not moving at all, you can hold up to 800 pounds. We take a closer look here at the top. You notice we have this rubber piece here. That's going to give us access to our T-Track and all you have to do to access that is peel off this rubber padding here and cut off the excess to access that uh, T-Track. And if you look closer right next to it at the very end, you'll see we have this silver bar here. That's going to act as an attachment point for anything you need to tie down. As for the dimensions, we're going to have 3 inches from the top of your uh, bed rail to the top of our crossbar. And we're gonna have an additional three inches sticking out on the side of our vehicle from our crossbar as well. So if you're in any type, I mean, that's really close to your vehicle. So just making sure you keep this centered to your vehicle is gonna help give you a lot of space to save. And then from, the uh, from our bed to the bottom of our crossbar, we're gonna have 19 inches. So always keep that in mind if you're sticking anything, maybe kind of tall, you might be able to stick it in between any points, but just keep in mind, 19 inches is going to be your max height if you're trying to stick it under this crossbar. And if you take a look at the bottom of our tower, you'll see we have this rubber coating on the bottom that's going to form to our bed rail. And if you'd like to see how we installed that, we'll take a look at that, at that now. Now we've already put on our first bar, I'm going to show you how to do that on the next bar. When we come to our crossbar, we're going to flip that over so the bottom is facing up. You'll be able to tell because these numbers are facing up and we have this screw. Now we're just going to unscrew that with our included tool. Once we have that unscrew, we'll just take that out and we'll be able to take off our end cap. With that off, we can now put on our tower you're just going to take this metal square here and slide it through this T-track. And we're going to line it up to our number that we've measured out earlier. That's going to come in handy when you do your first crossbar because you'll be able to place these feet down and kind of measure it out where it's centered. And that same number that you get on the first bar, you'll be able to use on your second bar. And once you have it in the correct position, you, you can tighten it down the rest of the way. And with that, we can put our end cap back on and screw it into place. And once you've tightened down the other side, you can put it on the bed of your truck. So just wherever you need to place it, find that location and place. Now, if it doesn't fit, you might have to make some small adjustments. That's as easy as just loosening it just a little bit and pulling it to wh whichever side you need it to be on. Once you have everything lined up, you can take your clamp and your head that's going to go on top to kind of prevent any damages to underneath there and clamp it down. Now, something to keep in mind, we do have this adapter that will change out with this piece if you have a track system. We, do, we don't have a track system, so we're just gonna use this piece. So coming down here, I'm just gonna line up these two hooks here with these two bigger holes and slide it in. You might have to adjust the height of your screw just in case this is thicker or thinner. But once I adjust that and find the right spot, I can start tightening this. And when you have it tightened down as far as you can get it, you can then use this lever at the top to 
even ten, uh, tighten it down more, just with more tension. And you'll see we have this locking mechanism here. That's just going to be for added security, so no one can take this off or remove it. And once you've tightened it down completely, you should be ready to hit the road. But before we do that, we're going to do a shake test. And if it doesn't move at all, we're going to be good. Now is a look at the Yakima Bedrock HD truck bed rack on the back of the 2023 Jeep Gladiator.